How's it going everybody? Hope you're having a really, really good weekend and welcome back to another instalment of FIFA 19 Career Mode Wonder Kids. So I did one of these a couple of days ago, a few days ago, I think it was the start of the week and you guys seem to really, really enjoy it. If you did miss the first part of this, be sure to check that out. I'll put a link in the description and at the top of your screens now. And yeah, you guys asked for a part two, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We've got another five players. This time we tried to mix it up and make it uh, make it a variation of positions. I think there's quite a lot of wingers in part one but um yeah again if you do enjoy this be sure to leave a big thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and without further ado let's kick things off with the first part that we're going to be looking at so the first player that we're going to be looking at today, guys, is a player that I'm sure many of you are going to be familiar with. It's Tango and Bele, a player that's been linked away from Leon, actually, a little bit in the transfer window. And it's quite surprising because he's only just gone there on a permanent deal. For you, those of you that aren't aware, he was on loan from Amiens at the start of the season from Leon, but they had an option to buy him at the end of that loan for €8 million, Euros, which I'm pretty sure they've gone through with. So very, very nice bit of business as far as Leon are concerned there. He's a player with a ton of potential. And you can uh, you can safely say if he was to move away from Leon, he'd be going for a lot a lot, lot more than 8 million euros, but um, I think it's worth touching upon now as you see some highlights of him in the background. I mentioned it in the first part of this uh, this series, if you like, um, a, a wonder kid on classing as anyone under the age of 23 with the potential to be above 88 in the game, in my opinion. And um, at the start of the slide, you will have seen what I think their card or their in game stats could look like at the start of FIFA 19, and then you'll see now on the screen. Uh, what their card could look like after a few seasons in Korea, man. So, all just pretty vague predictions, obviously, but just to give you a kind of an idea of what the player's are about. But, um, yeah, Undem Bella, like I said, been linked away from Leon a little bit already, gathering traction because of his fantastic performances in the league. Made 28 starts for Leon, playing in that central midfield role. A pretty powerful player, but not the biggest physically. Um, he's, he's one of those. He almost reminds me a little bit of, of Naby Keita. He's a bit of a box-to-box -box player, very, very good on the ball, but doesn't shy away from the defensive work and the physical side of the game either. But, yeah, I think he's going to be playing with a ton of potential that you're going to be seeing uh, picked up quite often in, um, in career mode. He's definitely someone, when I did the Man City career mode, that I'm considering going for for as a long-term replacement for Fernandinho. Could be a very, very nice fit there. So now I said there's going to be more variation in this pop, but we've actually got another box-to-box -box midfielder, as it were, for the second player. It's Lucas Torreira, the Uruguayan central midfielder I'm sure you're all going to be very, very familiar familiar with. Uh, moved from Sampdoria to Arsenal for €30 million Euros in this transfer window, and a player that I know a lot of Arsenal fans are very excited for. He's 22 years old, he had a fantastic season for Sampdoria in Serie A last year, and also he's pretty, uh, pretty solid in the World Cup for Uruguay as well, it's fair to say. But... Um, Again, just like all the players in this list, a player that's going to have a ton of potential. I think you're going to be looking at somewhere around the 78 to 80 region when he starts off the year on career mode. And when you consider he's only 22, you can comfortably see him going up by 6, 7, 8, 9 plus, depending on, you know, it's always hard to say, say potentials because it depends how you're doing in the career mode itself. But yeah, certainly someone that's going to be up there at least in the high 80s, in my opinion. Like I said, box to box midfielder. Very well known for his high work rate, getting stuck in there, body on the line kind of combative, 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 is that the word? I think that's the word, combative midfield style of play. Not as well known for his finishing in front of goal, but still a very, very tidy player and someone that I think you're going to see a lot of in career mode in FIFA 19. I mentioned it in part one, we had a lot of wingers in the predictions for the Korea Mad Wonder Kids. We've got another one on our hands here, one that's recently transferred. Malcolm moving from Bordeaux in Ligue 1 to Barcelona. Absolute scenes this was with, with the transfer situation because it looked all nailed on that it was going to be going to Roma. But at the very last second, Barcelona came swooping in and he basically snubbed Roma at the airport, as is to my understanding of it. So... Very, very close to becoming a Roma player, but ended up going to Barcelona. Going to have a crazy card at the start of FIFA 19 for his age. I reckon he's going to be 82, 83 rated probably. Um, a ton, again, of potential, like all of the players in this list. He's on the wing on the right-hand side, can play on the left as well, though. Although, predominantly for Bordeaux, did play most of the time on the right-hand side. Going to have a ton of pace, 86, 87. Really nice dribbling as well and shooting. And I think he's actually going to be a pretty well-rounded card to begin with. But when you throw it into the mix, the fact that this guy's 21 years old, he's at Barcelona, he's already going to be 83 rated in my opinion. You can see him being up there with the best young players on the game at the start of the year. You can come to see him being sort of in the 90 plus club and, um, you know, four star skills as well. He is going to be an absolute joy to use. The only bad thing with Malcolm is the transfer fee. If you're going to bring him in from Barcelona, it's going to be a pretty hefty one, you're going to feel like. Um, again, at a team of the season card last season, I'm not sure if I mentioned that about uh, Torreira. He did as well, the last goal we were looking at. But yeah, at a team of the season card last season, had a great season for Bordeaux, obviously. It's kind of crazy. He didn't even get in the Brazil national team, which just 
just tells you about the amount of talent that have got in their squad that someone like Malcolm couldn't get in there. But FIFA 19 is going to start off the year as a decent player anyway, but the potential he's going to have for that age is going to be absolutely unreal. And uh, like I said, I think he's going to be one of the best young players on the game in career mode. So the penultimate player that we're going to look at is another winger, and he's someone that I'm sure many of you will be familiar with if you follow Man City. Jadon Sancho, a player that they lost to uh, Borussia Dortmund not too long ago. I think it was in the, uh, the last transfer window. He's gone there, and he's actually made a handful of appearances at 18 years old. He's got a ton of potential, the young English player. And I think a lot of credit has to go to him in reality for taking the plunge and going abroad to Germany because you don't see many English players doing that these days but as I say 18 years old I think you're going to see him in the sort of low to mid 70s at the start of the year and a player that is again going to have a ton of potential great on the ball very strong pace and acceleration four star skill moves and someone I think you're going to be able to apply for relatively cheap at the start of the game I know with the career mode sometimes the AI and the market doesn't work as well as it probably should be potential so Sandro is probably someone that you're going to be able to get for around 15 20 million I think if you picked him up at the start again maybe even a lot less than that but um, certainly a player with a ton of potential and uh, a player that Man City in reality were very disappointed to lose it's fair to say um, like I said it's played a handful of games over in Germany which is a big stamp for someone that's going over there and only 18 years old to be getting into um, into the you know the Dortmund team Dortmund obviously a strong team in Germany and I think you're going to see that reflected with his potential in FIFA 19 again going to be a very very strong winger long term and I think he's the kind of player that you're going to see people picking up that are doing sort of championship career mode teams at the start you could pick him up perhaps get promoted and he could be a real real big part of the team in that kind of uh, that kind of save but uh, yeah Jaden Sancho a bit more of an under the radar pick but nevertheless a player that's going to have a ton of potential and if you're willing to play the time into the career mode a player that you're going to have uh, with incredible stats in a few years time and to end off this part of the career mode at Wonder Kids we've actually got a centre back I think this is the first centre back we've looked at across both parts it's uh, Matis De Ligt a player that had a phenomenal season for Ajax last year got himself a team of the season card multiple multiple special cards and um you know, when you consider Ajax lost Davinson Sanchez to Spurs, who was another very highly rated young centre back, to have Delict just to come in there at just 18 years old and step in the way that he has is absolutely outstanding. And I think this guy could be the best young centre back on FIFA 19 at the start of the career mode in terms of potential and current ability. Because I think you're going to be looking at someone that's between 78 and 80 rated at the start of the game. And for someone that's only 18 years old, you can again comfortably see him getting into that 90 plus bracket in terms of potential. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a crazy, crazy card. As well, it's worth mentioning, as he's playing at Ajax, he's someone that you can see him being poached away reasonably comfortably for a lot of teams if you're using like a Premier League save. Maybe even, um, I mean, maybe top end championship save might be pushing it. But yeah, but the fact that he's playing at Ajax, Ajax, of course, are a massive, massive club. But you they tend to get the best players stolen away from them, as we've seen with Justin Clovert in this transfer window, with Davinson Sanchez, as you mentioned in the last transfer window, David Clarsen, who obviously did really well for them the season before, I think he was from Ajax, obviously didn't really light up with Everton, Hannah's recently left, but yeah, Delict someone that I think you're going to see being poached away fairly often in career modes from, from Ajax, and someone that's going to comfortably be in that 90 plus bracket when it comes to potential, in my opinion, phenomenal, phenomenal centre back, and you know, in FIFA 19 and in real life, would seem to have an absolutely massive, massive future ahead of him. Certainly someone that I can see being the Dutch captain in a few years to come, the way he started things off in his career. But um, that is the final part that we're going to be looking at in this video, as I've just mentioned. And um, let me know again your thoughts on the players we've covered in today's video. Let me know if you've got any suggestions for potential wonder kids that you think are going under the radar for FIFA 19. And as well, if you do enjoy this video, you did enjoy the video, sorry, leave a big thumbs up and let me know if you want to see a part three of career mode wonder kids. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will catch you all in the next video, guys. Nidge out.